Every year, fire incidents occur on board approximately 200 cases on merchant ships, with 25% of those fires occurring in the engine room. Out of that, about 10 ships got the total loss. There is a relatively high possibility of the fire in the engine room, which could lead to large losses. International conventions related to fire drills are as follows SOLAS regulations. Based on SOLAS, KR created a fire safety education video to respond to those unexpected disasters. You could find related SOLAS regulations on the KRCON website. We will cover the five steps you need to incorporate to ensure your fire drills that can accomplish your goals and the way in which you can practice better fire safety. How to prepare. Let's discuss what to do before conducting drills. Before starting the drills, hoist the international signal flags, uniform and Yankee. Briefing. Understand the purpose of the drill and having clear communication are the key points to accomplish the drill. Step 1. Report to the bridge. Initial witness reports big fire in the engine room to the bridge. Initial witness. The initial witness reports fire promptly by taking all possible measures such as shouting, emergency telephone, walkie-talkie, or emergency call points to the bridge. Office of Watch or Master After receiving a fire report, activate the onboard fire alarm system and announce onboard a big fire in the engine room. Step 2. Muster at the station Announce. Drill, drill, fire, drill, big fire in the engine room from the main engine. All crew assemble at the muster station. Master instructs what to do according to the shipboard emergency checklist, including stopping the engine, controlling steering, and external notification. The bridge announces the fire to all crew members. The onboard announcements contains location, sites, Class of the fire with fire alarm. Assemble. All crew members should assemble at the muster station at shouting fire. All crew members hold assigned items such as personal life jacket, emergency suit, log books, fire control plan, etc. according to the muster list. Isolate the fuel oil and electrical supplies. Shut off local ventilations. Shut off the fire dampers. If you find an injured person, move them to a safe place from fire and give him or her first aid. The unseen commander should instruct crews to prepare assigned tasks after all members assemble at the station. Close the isolation valve. Prepare the fire hose. Start the emergency generator. Start the main fire pump or emergency fire pump. Step 3. Enter the location on fire. Wear a firefighter's outfit. A firefighter's outfit shall consist of a set of personal equipment and a breathing apparatus. Protective clothing. Protective clothing of material to protect the skin from the heat and water resistant. Boots of non-conducting material. X. X with the handle provide with the high voltage insulation. 
Safe lamp. Electric safety lamp of an approved type with a minimum burning period of three hours. Electric safety lamp on tankers and those intended to be used in hazardous area shall be of an explosion proof type. Mask. Helmet. Rigid helmet providing effective protection against impact. Two way radio telephone. A minimum of two two way portable radio telephone apparatus for each fire party for firefighters' communication shall be carried on board. Those two way portable radio telephone apparatus shall be of an explosion proof type or intrinsically safe. PA cylinder. Breeding apparatus shall be a self contained compressed air breeding apparatus for which the volume of air contained in the cylinders shall be at least 1,200 liters. Or other self contained breathing apparatus which shall be capable of functioning for at least 30 minutes. Overall outfit checkup. Onsin Commander check outfit status. Report. The Onsin Commander should report entering time, identification of team members, the pressure of the BA, and the proper status of the firefighter's outfit before the team enters to the location on fire. Enter. No personnel other than those who don firefighters' outfit should enter the location on fire. To avoid injury due to backdraft, do not open the door at once, but open carefully by supporting it with your body. The fire extinguishing team should check the heat from a fire before opening the entrance door, and spray at least three times using a fire hose with his back against the door when entering the location on fire. The commander should check the entering time of the fire extinguishing team continuously, considering the BA pressure consumption. Step 4. Withdraw and use fixed CO2 system. Withdraw. The fire extinguishing team makes a comprehensive decision that they cannot keep proceeding to enter the location of fire due to a big fire. The unseen commander reports the situation to the bridge. Bridge decide to use the fixed fire extinguishing system. The bridge team announces on board and communicates external parties appropriately and keep records on site situation board. Prepare. Before releasing CO2, crew should double check to make sure all ventilations and dampers are shut off. Assemble. Perform a roll call to bridge after evacuating safety and assembling all crew members to the muster station. Release CO2. Before releasing CO2, the unseen commander should check all personnel escape from the fire zone and ventilation was closed completely. After releasing CO2, the unseen commander reports to the bridge. Step 5. Check the fire extinguishing status. Prepare to re-enter. Enter and escape. Assuming that sufficient time has passed after using the fixed CO2 system, the fire extinguishing team re-enter to check whether the fire is extinguished after wearing a firefighter's outfit. The unseen commander reports the bridge that the fire is not able to be extinguished. Shipmaster instructs the fire team to escape from the location on fire and prepare to abandon ship. 